Today we will learn about subclasses of kingdom plantae, gymnosperms and angiosperms. In the previous video, we have discussed the Thallophyta, Bryophyta and Pteridophyta subclasses of the plant kingdom. Let us now understand gymnosperm, a subclass of a kingdom plantae. In the garden, you must have seen plants such as cycas and Christmas tree. Gymnosperms The term is made up of two Greek words, gymnos meaning uncovered or naked and sperm meaning seeds. These are plants whose seeds are not covered by the ovary wall but are in open, that is, exposed or naked positions in small twigs or cones. For this reason, they are also called gymnosperm or naked seed. They include medium or tall trees and shrubs such as pinus and cycus. These plants are perennial and woody. The body of gymnosperms is fully developed and differentiated in different parts like root, stem, leaves, etc. But they lack flowers and fruits. The lack of flowers and fruits makes them different from angiosperms. Since gymnosperms do not have flowers, ovules are in the open state. Pollination is mainly through air. The seeds produced after fertilization are also in open state. Generally, they are found in colder regions where the snowfall is high. These plants have different adaptations such as leaves are of small area and have a shape of needle so that Snow does not accumulate on the leaves. Some gymnosperms have simple and composite leaves. They can tolerate extreme temperatures, humidity and air. The stems of some gymnosperms such as pinus are branched while the stems of some gymnosperms such as cycus are unbranched. They use vascular tissues such as xylem and phloem to transport various substances from one part to another. Mainly, they have tap root. Some gymnosperms, such as pinus, associate with fungi called mycorrhiza. Similarly, some gymnosperms, such as cycus, cooperate with cyanobacteria called coralloid roots. The reproductive organs are on different sporophylls of the same tree. The spores are arranged like a spiral on the stem. They form dense cones that are found in upper places of the plant. Female cones are generally larger than male cones. Pollination in these plants is mainly by air. After transfer of the male gamete to the female cone by air, it is brought to female gamete, that is, egg, by the pollen tube. The fertilization of male gametes with the female gamete produces zygote. It grows and develops into seed. The female cones open at the appropriate time and the seeds get dispersed. Now, let's understand angiosperms. The word angiosperm is made up of two Greek words, angio meaning covered and sperm means seed. In this way, plants whose seeds are covered inside fruits are called angiosperms. The main feature of these plants is the presence of flowers. Their seeds develop in the ovaries of flowers 
which later take the form of roots. Hence, we also call these plants as flowering plants. They are the largest class of plants. These range from small plants such as wolfia to giant trees such as eucalyptus. They are found in various places. From angiosperms, we get food, medicines, fodder, wood and other products. Angiosperms produce offspring through sexual reproduction. The reproductive organs of these plants are found in flowers. If you look inside the circle of petals of the flower, you will find some thin tubes having inflated tops. These are the male sex organ of plant called stamen. The stamen has two parts. The upper inflated part is called anther in which the pollen grains are formed that has male gametes. The long and thin part attached to anther is called the filament. In the center of the flower, there is a jug-like part called pistil. It is the female sex organ of the plant. It consists of female gametes called egg in the ovary. The transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma is called pollination. It takes place with the help of abiotic components such as air, water or biological components such as insects, animals like butterflies and bees, etc. Two male gametes from the pollen grain are released into the ovary by pollen tube. One of these male gametes fuses with an egg cell to form zygote and the second male gamete fuses with bipolar nuclei to form an endosperm. Then the zygote develops in the seed and ovary develops in the fruit. The seeds have cotyledons, which turn green after germination of the seeds. Depending on number of cotyledons, angiosperms can be classified into two parts. If the seed of plant has single cotyledon, such as bamboo, onion, etc. Then, such plants are called monocotyledons. But if a plant has two cotyledons, such as a banyan tree, then such plants are called dicotyledons. Let's understand their characteristics. Roots in monocot plants are usually fibrous, whereas in dicotyledon plant, there are tap roots. In monocot plants, stems can be hollow, such as bamboo, can be virtual, such as banana, or can be swatchy form, such as onion. Whereas the stem is strong and tough in dicotyledon plant, in case of leaves, the leaves in monocot plants have a parallel venation, while the leaves in dicotyledon plant have a reticulate venation. Flowers of both types of plants are also different. In monocot plants, flowers are three parts or multiple of three. Whereas in dicotyledon plants, flowers are four or five parts. So, you must have understood gymnosperms and angiosperms very well. Today we have learned about subclasses of kingdom plantae, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Perms. Perms. Perms.